What is up everybody stuck behind traffic playing around with uh, the fuel pack tachometer But I wanted to do like an actual moto vlog. I haven't done a moto vlog in a while And I just want to do something real quick. These are uh, some moto vloggers uh, some youtubers that truly have helped me out and That I like I just like them. I like it. All right, and I wanted to share that with you. Okay uh, so a little bit of history on why I got into moto vlogging was not because of Snowcat and all of them, not because of all the yelling and stuff, but I actually like the ones that are actually really chill, the ones that actually taught me something. A lot of the, that's that's where this this uh, list is gonna go. I don't even know how many people are gonna be in this list. I'm going off the cuff, off my memory. Um, I definitely wanna just tell you guys right off the bat, right off the bat, that I really like some newer motor vloggers too. Uh, and, and this is the group of uh, Harley motor vloggers that I'm gonna throw out there. These are the honorary mentions because uh, we help each other out and they're, I, I'm talking about the person and the people, not just the channel on these guys. And it is Biking Bird. Uh, he was there when, for like some of my very first uh, live streams. Been talking to him, hanging out with him, part of the group chat. And then uh, Blockhead, I really liked his Instagram when I first started, that's how I first knew about him. Then I checked out his uh, YouTube and he easily climbed past me. Really good stuff, he did, he did some good tutorials, he had some great pictures online. Him and Miss Blockhead are doing some good stuff. And they've got Moto New Rider. Um, he's uh, out in the UK. He's, he's with Sean Speed. Uh, they were like some of the bad, most badass bikes when I first started riding. And he's just really cool, really chill. I like his types of vlogs, really laid back, really happy. And then uh, John Maxwell. John Maxwell, he does some really good shit. He's got, some, he's, he's, a, he's uh, a vlogger. He's a vlogger. He reminds me of Casey Neistat in a little way. You know, he actually, he, he has like the processes in, in his head. He knows what to go for, knows how to get it, and he just recently passed me up in subscribers, and he just started, so he obviously found something great. He's a great Harley mechanic. Watch his stuff. You'll learn a lot. But those are my honorary mentions. I want to say, hey, thanks, guys. Hope you guys uh, uh, are watching this. A um, little shout-out to you guys. But the ones that really, really got me started, the ones that before I even uh, really started doing anything, uh, was uh, Moto Geo. I'm sure you guys have heard Moto Geo. Um, I forgot I forgot his name. It's like right on the tip of my head. I think his name is Jamie, and he's a real he's a professional rider. He 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 goes out and rides. He does adventures. He he does interviews. He does a lot of crazy stuff. Then he always gets some good food. But it's like his outlook on life is so positive. It's so happy, and that's what I really like about him. I really like his channel when it comes to that. He goes all over the place. Really high production value. Great videos. He kind of slowed down a little bit. Maybe some personal stuff was going on. Um, because I have noticed that he's been putting a little bit more personal vlogs on there uh, with his child. So maybe he did a little more dad time and having some fun with his kid. But uh, it's it's really cool. I love his channel, Moto Geo. Link will be in the description. All the motor vloggers, all the all the YouTube channels, they're not just motor vloggers. The link will be in the description. Uh, so Moto Geo definitely. Um, I really like um, Accidental Broadcast also. Now the reason, and he's a super happy guy. Super happy guy. I remember when I first started watching him, he had a, I think he had a girlfriend, and and then he broke, they broke up, and he was very personal about that. But he did a lot of cool adventures, and I really liked his cin cinematography, his, his, the way he did things, the way, the, he had the eye of a, a photographer first, and then he rode, and then he, he found places that were beautiful. Plus, he's in Hawaii. You can't beat that. That is like an awesome place to be riding and sharing your experiences on on YouTube. Another rider that I really like and that had a ton of uh, positivity and, and just a great outlook on life was uh, oh, one second, I got like something in my throat. It's uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, Everride. Everride was awesome. I really like his stuff. Back when I wanted to get a dual sport, I really that's how I found him. And I really wanted uh, some information. I found his review on the KLR 650. I got a KLR 650. I wanted to see if it was good for me. And I started watching his stuff. He's just going off road, going on adventures, and he's and he's doing these voiceovers. And he's just very calm, very collected. It's like almost like a script, like an essay that he's reading to you. And it's very good. It's very chill, relaxed. And then he actually got me into the drone thing. He bought a drone. He showed the Lychee app. And he showed they did this follow me feature. I was like, boom, I'm getting it. I'm doing that, I'm doing that, I'm doing that. And that's what got me into doing drones. Um, very good stuff. He kind of took a break from uh, YouTube, but he still puts out YouTube videos, but he does a lot of, uh, he takes takes riders out in Utah and he has a lot of fun. So I think that's really cool. Super positive. So, so far you guys have noticed that this is all the positive people, right? 
Another guy that, that I took some inspiration from was Baron Von Grumble. Um, now, he, he recently has been doing a lot of uh, his other stuff on 44 Teeth. It's another YouTube channel, and they're doing great. Um, but uh, Baron Von Grumble, before his divorce, I think he was, he was getting divorced or he got divorced or something. Uh, he, and yeah, he was kind of open about that too, which was very nice. It was very good to see someone more personal on that. But his his cinematography, man, it was insane. It's what got me into the cinematic videos, um, or at least you know slow mo cinematic videos. That's what got me into slow mo cinematic videos. There's, a, I even took one of his songs that he used and made a video of, uh, of mine. Very good quality stuff, and he was funny. I really liked it. He was very funny. I enjoyed it. Um, so that was really awesome that that I got to see that, and it kind of inspired me to do the cinematic stuff. So I, I incorporated the drone with music, with the slow mo, with this, and I made some uh, stuff like Julian, my Julian ride. I made a bunch of stuff, um, and a lot of it was from these influences from all these guys. Now, there's a few other people like Smokes Moto Vlogs, and uh, I did watch a little bit of Snowcat. I I forgot his friend's name. I think it was a. Uh, uh, is another Canadian guy. I thought he was a little bit funnier than Snowcat. I forgot his name. Sorry. So I think it starts with a V. Um, but I, I, I tended to watch some of those guys. Walt Terrific. I liked his positive attitude. I liked the memes and all that stuff. I kind of went away from that. It's it's not what I like anymore. I went towards uh, motorcycle safety and all that stuff. So MC Rider is a really great guy. He does a lot of MS. He does a lot of. He's an MSF instructor, but he does a lot of motorcycle safety tips. Really good quality stuff. If, if, you, if you watch me for motorcycle safety tips, go watch MC Rider. You need to subscribe to him if you don't already. Go to him. He knows what he's talking about even more than I do. I know mostly about emergency medical uh, scenes and situations and, and all that stuff and broken bones, all that stuff. He knows about his profession is motorcycle safety and riding and tips. Mine's the other stuff. It's kind of hard to show that when it comes to motorcycling unless I, I find somebody crashed. So he does some great stuff definitely recommend watching his stuff great 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 quality stuff um man there's like so many people that i watched uh that were motor vloggers that kind of inspired me on certain different things that are, that are just awesome um but now i'm going to go ahead and switch a little bit more towards uh, what's helped me develop my channel um first of all casey neistat he's a vlogger i think everybody knows who he is uh, I like his vlogging style. I tried it out. It's 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 his technique. It's not my technique. He's very good. I like doing one takes. He likes he cuts up his day and he and he has a, almost like a storyboard in his head before he starts it. Very high quality. Very professional man. And and I like it. I like this stuff. It got me going. It got me interested in vlogging. Actually vlogging. Be more personal. Um, video creators. Great channel. It, it taught me like how to sto do story. How to set up my YouTube. How to figure this out, uh, SEO, um, you know, what to talk about, have a niche, have a schedule, have this, have this, have this, great stuff, video influencers, Sean Cannell, same thing, great people, great topics, they help me out quite a bit. And then the more I do this, the more that, that I'm going uh, as a YouTuber, the more that, that I've noticed uh, when it comes to YouTube, you know, it's other YouTubers, other content creators can influence me quite a bit, they can actually... Uh, make me better they can make me a better youtuber but if it wasn't for you guys you guys have influenced me in many different ways I put a video out there and it doesn't get traction so I don't do that video again I do a different video it gets a ton of traction I do that video I do that kind of video again so you guys have pushed me in a direction to where what, what you guys believe I am the subject expert expert subject matter person or whatever. I don't even know how to say that. You guys have pushed me and said, I trust you in this content. Go ahead and keep doing this. You guys have shared, you guys have liked, you guys have commented. So you guys have actually influenced me more than anyone else. I've tried different things because of other people, but you guys have basically told me what it is that you want. And that is great because you guys are pushing me into, and you, you guys like the positivity. You guys like the tips. You like what I'm giving you, and I think you understand that. I think you see that what I'm what I'm putting out there on on YouTube is what I like to do. So it comes out in my voice. It comes out in my body language. It comes out in everything. I think. Oh, oh Cub Scout sign up. I need. Oh, I gotta go put my daughter in Cub Scouts. Um, but yes, 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 yes. You guys have been the main response here, and I truly appreciate that. And 
You guys give me great tips in the comments. I love it. I love seeing the comments in the in the comment section. I love seeing you guys joining the Discord. Every time it says, hey, it, it, you know, blah, 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 join the Discord. You know, give them a high five. I, I, I love seeing that. I love just seeing it. Boom, 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 boom. Discord links in the channel or in the description, obviously. Just chat behind the scenes and all that stuff. The patrons, you guys have influenced me in a lot of different things. I wouldn't have gotten stickers. I wouldn't have gotten any of the merchandise. I just really wanted to focus on YouTube. And you guys are like, man, I want a sticker. I love your logo. Where can I find it? Where can I find it? Where can I find it? You guys have pushed me to get that. You guys have pushed me to become a better YouTuber. So thank you guys so much. I don't want to. I don't want to keep this going any longer. Um, but those are some really great moto vloggers. Some great YouTubers that that really have influenced me. Highly recommend checking them out. They're great. Uh, but with that said, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna edit all this stuff. Probably do a live stream a little bit later. That's another cool thing is if you have that subscribe button and that notification bell button, you will get notified when I do these live streams of the editing so you get a sneak peek of what's coming up. But with that said, for the 10th time, I will see you guys later. Hope you guys ride safe. Bye. <laughs>